We've been told over and over the best way we can protect ourselves during this outbreak is to practice social distancing, but there are many other ways we can stay in good health. Olivia is practicing social distancing. She's continuing uh, with us in her live home studio this morning with some ideas. Good morning. Good morning, Yetta. Social distancing is challenging for those of us who are so social, so certainly miss seeing you guys in person this week, but it is good to check in. We wanted to talk to a wellness expert about what strategies we can do to maximize our immunity. We know that we need to be washing our hands constantly, not touching our face to protect ourselves from possibly contracting the virus, but what else can we do to make ourselves a little more resilient? Here's Dr. Sean. There has been talk and speculation that, like influenza, the spread of COVID-19 will slow as the weather warms. Doctors can't say for sure, but studies do show that a virus thrives more in dry air, so an increase in humidity could help. And there are ways to speed that up yourself. And maybe you want to hydrate more, maybe you want to use a neti pot, maybe you want to keep those nasal passages really moist um, so that you have your best chance of protecting yourself. Wellness expert Dr. Amy Shaw recommends adding a cold mist humidifier to your home and doing whatever you can to boost your body's natural immunity. As a doctor, I'm protecting myself by really doing the things that I'm telling you to do. I'm sleeping well, I'm eating well, I'm using personal protective equipment when I'm around someone who may have that. We are screening patients that only emergency patients can be seen and everybody else is, um, we're seen through telemedicine. I think the best thing you can do is um, keep a positive attitude, help out where you can, stay at home, wash your hands, practice social distancing, and um, hope for the best. She says she'd like to see more testing done in Arizona and advises patients and friends to practice strict social distancing to flatten the coronavirus curve in Arizona. Concerned that our local healthcare community will face what those on the East Coast already have. The doctors at the front line of this in the hospitals treating sick COVID-19 patients are going to face tough decisions. We hope that it doesn't get to that in Arizona, but in New York, it's already happening. There are some patients who have to share a ventilator. There are going to be patients who need to, um, you know, share a room. There are going to be makeshift hospitals. Um, we are going to have to learn from the New York experience and really prepare ourselves here. So I reached out to Dr. Shaw originally because she had been sharing some resources on Twitter about that study regarding humidity. So she says, you know, why not? Of course, uh, make your body a, an area that's not as susceptible or welcoming to viral infection of any sort. So if you can uh, use that cold mist humidifier is what she suggested, neti pot, and just keeping yourself very hydrated mm -hmm. so that uh, your passages, you know, maybe won't, won't allow something to cling on like it might thrive more in the dry air. So anything we can do yet, and you know, you got to pump that vitamin C and yeah. drink a lot of water and try to get sleep, but we're all a little stressed enough. And oh, pretty 